we interrupt this broadcast of Chicago Independent Television to bring you live coverage of the protests and events surrounding the 2005 George W. Bush presidential inauguration. I'm John Heron, and we're coming to you from Washington, D.C., for it's certain to be a day full of excitement. Like ancient Romans waiting for the release of Barabbas, the audience anticipates with bated breath for their man to appear. But first, these words. In my country, a group of religious extremists are reshaping the government to promote their own agenda and morality. The government can keep a list of everyone I call and they do not need a judge's permission. Our citizens are seized and held in prison without being charged of a crime, without the right to a trial and without a lawyer. Why should you care about what is happening to my country? Because my country is the United States of America. America, America, America. Welcome back to Chicago Independent Television. We now continue with our ongoing coverage of the protests and events surrounding the 2005 George W. Bush inauguration. We're coming to you from Washington, D.C., where Bush is poised to seize the throne and scepter and will ascend, as it were, to the presidency of these United States by reciting the oath of office. Will you raise your right hand, Mr. President, and repeat after me? I, George Walker Bush. I, George Walker Bush. Do solemnly swear. Do solemnly swear. That I will faithfully execute. That I will faithfully execute. The office of President of the United States. The office of President of the United States. And will to the best of my ability. And will to the best of my ability. Preserve, protect, and defend. Preserve, protect, and defend. The Constitution of the United States. The Constitution of the United States. So help me God. So help me God. Congratulations. <laughs> It is my distinct honor to introduce the 43rd President of the United States, the Honorable George W. Bush. Enough of this. Ladies and gentlemen, we've just been informed that Chicago's own Andy Thayer is approaching the protesters' podium. Let's listen in. a few organizations, the Chicago Coalition Against War and Racism, which, which organized the takeover of Lakeshore Drive in Chicago on March 20th, 2003. I also come here bringing you greetings from DonorMen.com, which is fighting the anti-gay constitutional amendments which are sweeping this country. And also the Gay Liberation Network in Chicago. And I traveled 14 hours on that damned bus because I am angry, not, at, not only at the thousands of people that George Bush has murdered in Iraq, but also this man has got the gall to be pushing a constitutional amendment against the lesbian, gay, and bisexual and transgender community. And that is appalling. It is appalling that in the 21st century, we could be talking about passing a constitutional amendment against any group of people in this country. 
when Richard Milhouse Nixon was elected to a second term. What happened? There was a massive movement in the streets, such as we see the beginnings here today. Women demanding their rights, African Americans demanding their rights. And as a result, we won things like Roe v. Wade, in spite of a nixon pack Supreme Court. We won things like food stamps. We won things like affirmative action, because people were out in the streets fighting it for themselves. And I'd like to, to close with, I think, the perfect illustration of how we can fight. And that is to introduce to you a fellow person who joined me on the bus all the way from Chicago, 14 hours. And God damn it, if she can do it, anyone can. Let me introduce to you Marie Massey, an 80-year-old woman who joined us on the bus from Chicago. Come on, Marie. Good morning, everyone. I'm here to fight for jobs to bring our grandchildren, our sons, and our daughters home to keep him from making another dime off of our children and education. Thank you. Now let's join the protesters as the presidential procession passes by along Pennsylvania Avenue. You're watching Chicago Independent Television.
if elected, I'll lie about weapons of mass destruction as a pretext to invade another country. I'll call myself an environmentalist and gut clean air standards. Our allies will go from respecting us to hating us, and I don't care. I'll leave no child behind, unless they can't afford it. I promise to keep you in a state of fear and anxiety so you never question what we're doing. And if you do, we'll call you unpatriotic. Bring them on.